my basement into a drum set studio. Going down to the basement, get vacuum clean it. Ow! Don't hit your head. There's the rug. That's where the drums are gonna go. I'm gonna put up some curtains. That light burnt out, but that's okay. I have some lighting. Got my drums. Now, this looks like chaos because... Because it is. It was a lot of work and I'm still not done, but I finished the video at least and I have the drums and the mic set up. I also shaved my beard. So let's turn this creepy basement into a drum set studio. Ready? Look how easy this is. <gasps> Seriously, big thank you to folks at Sweetwater and Audix. A whole big thing with getting this basement studio set up was getting actual mics. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you know that I really just use my EAD, the Yamaha EAD 10 thing. I actually have a comparison video, pretty cool, coming out soon. I wouldn't have been able to make drum content for the past few years without that thing. I love it. However, I really wanted some new mics, Sweetwater. You came through, freaking, freaking, so thankful. Um, so a big shout out to you guys and the folks at Audix for hooking it up. Life's pretty cool, guys. Just keep drumming, keep following your dreams, you know all that stuff. But seriously, thank you, Sweetwater. This is cool. Didn't really do an unboxing video because honestly, as soon as it came to my door, I was like, woohoo! And I opened all of them and I was like, oh, damn it. I probably should have filmed that. And I was too lazy to put them all back in the box. So anyway, so here's the box. Let's pretend I open it. Well, I can open it. Doop, doop. I have no idea what I'm doing, but I know I'm doing it really, really well. We got the Audix little five on the snare. D2. Oh yeah, the D4. There we go. I have another D2 that I guess I would put on the imaginary second uh, rack tom, but I don't. I only have an imaginary second rack tom, so it's still in the case. Then I got the condenser mics up here. So yeah, look at this basement. This is ridiculous. So I got my fancy new lights, the uh, D6 on the kick. So I'm still, as you can see, that is not a boom stand. That is a two-channel uh, audio interface that I have. Um, raised my bass drum stand. So we're still a small operation here at Eric Proctor Drums. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. That's the new setup. Super stoked to start filming down here. It's not where I work practice room when the students are at lunch. It's my own house's basement. It's my own studio. Super excited. I'm going to do a big comparison video uh, soon, like next in the next couple weeks and I'm traveling for it. Woo. It's gonna be fun, it's gonna be super fun. So anyway, let's play some drums. That was fun, but what I really want to focus on is putting five stroke rolls on the hi-hat because the other day when I was doing some initial recording, I was having way too much fun and let's make this into a lesson. So awesome new mic setup. Welcome to my new basement. So excited for new videos. Let's learn something of five stroke rolls. We're going to put five stroke rolls on the drum set. I've done this before in some videos, but I am feeling my hi-hats right now, and I want to get some crispy five-stroke rolls. You can do this too. It's like the one of the first rudiments you've ever learned. So you can play a five-stroke roll on a practice pad. five stroke roll on your drum set. <laughs> 